Beach cleanups are common along our coastline and the most reported pollution, cigarette butt filters. They are a costly health hazard, not just for us, but also for the environment. A local environmental group and health expert want California lawmakers to face the facts and ban the sale of this plastic pollutant. Our chief meteorologist, Carlene Chavis, lets us know how we can help them in this Earth 8 report. Cigarette butts are disgusting. They completely line our streets across our county and our coastline. I'm here in Ocean Beach where experts want to filter out this problem. How far did we walk? Like 100 feet and we got 50 butts? Yeah, it's nuts. It's nut balls. Well, I for one second that notion, Mitch. This coastal defender is Mitch Silverstein with the San Diego chapter of the Surfrider Foundation. We took a morning stroll, or should I say patrol, in Ocean Beach, where it didn't take long to find cigarette butts blending in amongst the sand. It looks like an ashtray. You know, it's like it's like the beach is not an ashtray. And if you think, well, I'm only putting out one cigarette butt, where is the harm? Think about this. There's six trillion cigarettes manufactured globally. You put one, the next guy puts one, the next million people put one, and what we find is that about a third of all the litter that's picked up from the beaches is cigarette butts. You tell him Dr. Novotny, he is the professor small, emeritus at the SDSU the School of Public Health. This environmental concern is echoed by many organizations, including the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, citing cigarette butts are the number one marine pollutant in the world. Dr. Novotny refers to cigarettes as a teabag of toxins, citing the 7,000 chemicals found in them, including 50 of which are capable of causing cancer. And to top it off, these filters that have all those toxins locked in are single-use plastics. Don't let the appearance of a paper lining fool you. The filter, which is the most picked up item of the cigarette butts, is plastic, it's cellulose acetate. Doesn't biodegrade, stays in the environment, it may get squashed, broken up into small pieces, and re is retained as microplastics in the environment as well. So we both have a chemical and a plastic pollution problem with cigarette butts. To better illustrate how microplastics get dispersed into our environment, Mitch uses this example. Work. I always show them styrofoam because it's the most easy to see example of how one piece of plastic you know, this from a cooler thing instantly turns into thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces. It becomes indistinguishable from the sand even. Once broken down but not gone, the microplastics associated with cigarette filters become embedded in our environment and even us. It's also a sponge for toxins. So it soaks up toxins, fish eat it, and it become, and we eat that fish, and we get those toxins, and we get that plastic. So we're eating it. When it comes to putting out this issue, Dr. Novotny advocates for an upstream way of preventing this top pollution. He wants legislation passed that would ban the sale of filter cigarettes, citing the filter itself has no health benefits. It's not just the environment. If we can reduce tobacco use in any, even a small percentage, we're going to improve the health of Californians, reduce the cost of health care, reduce the cost that is involved in cleaning up beaches and urban environments, and and despoiling the natural environment that we have. Mitch echoes this sentiment on the ban with involvement on the local and state level. We can try to blame litter bugs all we want, but at the end of the day, we need to hold the producers responsible and we need to prevent every single cigarette from having a plastic butt where evidence is overwhelming that it's hazardous waste and highly likely to end up in our environment. Unfortunately, on a state level, a bill is introduced during every legislative exactly. session that never makes it out of the committee process. Exactly. So Mitch says pushing for this policy change is going to come down to the data, and we can help. We have a great tool, beachcleanups.surfrider.org. Any individual can have an account and add to the data that we collect because we need to show policymakers the data. You know, not just come out and say, hey, you know, I feel like the ocean's being polluted. We know it, and we have the numbers to back it up. So let's bring them the facts so this issue doesn't stay buried in our sand. For CBS 8, I'm Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis. Carlene, it's so sad to see yeah. so many cigarette butts out there, uh, yes. like you said, harmful for the environment and for our own health. That's very true, and that's why both men said a push to just ban the sale of cigarette filters would be really beneficial for us.